up our shenanigans down there. That's why I shouted him out. He definitely got it. Clubhouse shenanigans is in the room, so this is going on YouTube. So, so, Wait, what? Yeah. I see old Tasha K. She want to play a little more. I got to go back in the watch. You know what's crazy? I probably won't. I didn't have wounded her so bad with this Cardi B shit. They fucking over here in that courtroom. She go put a, a, a post up against tax tone saying, and my New York, the New York street dudes, like, listen, bro. No disrespect. I don't know if, if our West Coast politics or the movement of our streets is that complicated. But, bro, I suggest y'all should just, like, cut that out. Because y'all say dumb shit that doesn't make sense. The nigga Tax Stone said, she puts up a clip, I guess he calls in. Yeah. This nigga Whack 100. You know, I don't see him putting up no pictures with him with the rolling 60s or pictures of him with the West Side Power Rules. You know, he got ran out of his neighborhood. So I'm like, well, the rolling 60s is Crips. Well, I, it is a picture up of me and 600 over the last week. He from rolling 60s. It's a picture up. I gave a nigga a million dollar check. And then if you go to look at no jumpers, it's niggas from two, three, four different power roots that's in that picture. Right? But I, I don't understand, like, so me putting a picture up of two neighborhoods I ain't from, what is that supposed to mean? Or is it that these niggas don't understand that nigga is so many gangs in L.A. County that nigga five, four minutes to be on another nigga block and take a picture, but what is that supposed to be? Those are real shit. Like, what the fuck is that supposed to be? That nigga said, show me a picture of him in the hood and I'll stop talking. First of all, tax on. you show me a picture of you in the middle of a street right now. Show me a picture of you in the middle of the street before 2058. You show me a picture of you in the middle of a street we both 2058, and I ain't got nothing to say. Second of all, Tasha K, listen, baby, you reaching. And you're digging, you're reaching, you're digging, and when you come up with this type of shit, it just lets me know what you don't have. It ain't nothing to find. I am who I am. Now, you, you got something to find. You know what I'm saying? I just sent over Cardi as of two days ago. All the LLCs, all the property addresses, and we located that little bank account that your hubby got overseas. I had to pay another team to figure that out, right? That you got your streaming revenue redirected to. So they'll be hollering at you on that. But my thing, nigga, if I got a fresh 35 years in a penitentiary with a federal case pending, man, I'm not on no phone worrying about no nigga I don't know. Tax Stone, you wrote the letter, the letter to the judge, telling on everybody. You told on everybody. The nigga said he got the white people thinking he run the streets and he get money out of them, and I don't like that. Does this nigga not listen to the, to the shit I say? Is he not watching? When it comes to my corporate business, what do I say about the streets? Fuck the streets. I, I don't get it. Like, it's like, and that's why I don't like talking to New York niggas about street shit out here. I, I swear the way y'all even say, are you blood? It irks the fuck out of me. Because it's like, what the fuck are you saying? Am I blood? Like, what the fuck are you? Your whole lingua was just weird. You'll never understand these politics. The way you dance and try to get around conversation don't work with us. What me taking a picture with the West Side Park rules or with the motherfucking Roller 60s script got to do with showing if I'm authentic or not. I ain't from either fucking neighborhood, you dumb, stupid motherfucker. 
But shit, if you go to my Instagram, that's a West Side Par rule, my motherfucking low rider, you dummy. That's why niggas from out here be like, what this nigga talking about? That's Wacko from West Side Par Rule and this low rider on the clip right there. They over there in LA River. Shit, Wack in his car, he in Wack car. That's Lil John from Fruit Town Par Rule, no jumper. That's like my nigga. But I, what I can do is show you pictures of it. In the last 90 days, Thailand, Hong Kong, Vietnam, London twice. Where else I dropped into? I think I dropped into Miami. I can show you pictures with Crips and Bloods with me in these locations. Boss moves. I don't go hang out in the ghetto with the ghetto. Nigga, I'm bigger than the ghetto. Niggas in the ghetto every day are only in the ghetto because they have to be there. Not because they want to be there. Like, you have to be in jail. You have to be in jail for the next 35 years, tax dog. You don't want to be there. You have to be there. So all you niggas who sitting over there in these hoods and these prisons saying, nigga, I'm a real nigga. Nigga, I got life. Yeah, okay, you's a real dummy. I'm a real nigga. I'm in the hood every day. Hey, man, I'm going to be real, bro. If you pass the age of 23, fuck it, I'm going to give you 25. And you in the hood every day, you in trouble. I've seen what you look like at 43 and 53. I got a few G homies running around there pushing baskets. G niggas, OG niggas, niggas looked up to sitting on the motherfucking bus stop pushing a basket talking to themselves. It's facts. The hood ain't never got me nothing, nigga, but pain, nigga. What the fuck I want to be somewhere every day that got me pain? Nigga, I drive through that motherfucker. I cringe of the filth, motherfucking trash on the... Nigga, I be like, my God, I'm glad that my motherfucking baby that's 19 today ain't never had a sidewalk in front of her house. That let me know I did something right. Cause she ain't had to see the shit I saw. It's real shit. My motherfucking garage is bigger than the houses we grew up in. And shit, the backyard to one of my houses, I got more shit in the backyard than y'all got in the hood park. That's a Let's fact. Let's just keep it real. That's a fact, Wack. So, I don't, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, all the youngsters. Hey, look, it ain't cool to be trapped and stuck in the hood, bro. That's not cool. You, 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 you. Your goal and your end game is to get the fuck out of the hood. You know what I'm saying? Get your family out of the hood. It's nothing there but the same shit that was there when you was growing up. I can tell you everything in the hood. The liquor stores, dope houses, shit. They don't even got the fancy cars we had back in the day. Everybody in the hood broke. We at least had some fancy cars or what we considered to be fancy. These niggas is all broke. So, I don't know. My goal is to get the fuck out the hood. I got the fuck out the hood. I got a son, 28, be 29 next month, 30 days from the date. My daughter, 19 today. Ain't now one of them seen the hood. Ain't now one of them with the school in the hood. They don't talk hood. They don't act hood, nigga. And they don't know nothing about it. You know, in the day, um, you niggas just thriving and glorifying I'm in the hood every day. Salute to you, bro. I'm on these planes. I'm living in these mansions. I'm driving when I'm driving. I'm taking these meetings. I'm in these conference rooms every day. That's where the fuck I'm at. All right, so y'all do it how you want to do it. I'm going to do it how I want to do it. And everybody keep doing it. Kodak Black, I think he out here today. 
I'm gonna go meet him over there in Fuji land at this off sunset. He said he got a couple hundred for me. Now, I don't know what y'all doing in the hood. Dying. Telling, telling on each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Niggas is full of alcohol and liquor. Just Niggas is 24 looking, 49, fucked up, taking deals for 50 years. Oh, but nigga, who, bro, I gotta go do a podcast with this. Who in the fuck? Hey, you do. For wants real. to be trapped like on some real shit. I'm from the hood, nigga. That shit was pain and agony. Who in the fuck wants to be trapped, nigga? In that shit. When was it cool to be like, I'm in the hood? What the fuck? I want to be in the hood still. The All fuck? these rappers y'all see, the only ones hollering, nigga, we outside, we in the hood, is the ones that ain't made it. These other ones, nigga, they up there on that hill behind some security gates. They come out when they want to come out. My goal is to get all my homies out of the hood. Out of there. I don't want to have no hood no more. I want to be, you can go through them streets and you don't see damn nigga from my neighborhood because everybody is living in a house behind a motherfucking gate, enjoying their life, keeping their kids, kids, and their kids, kids, or being gang members that get shot and killed and taking lifetime deals in the penitentiary. If I had it my way, my hood wouldn't even exist no more. That motherfucker be open to the people. But that's just me. Because I know what it felt like on this side. I know what it felt like to have friends call and say, Hey, whack, what's your daughter's bank account information? And to know that at 18, 19, she has her own bank account. And to get a call and say, Dad, I just got a wire from QCP. He sent me ten thousand for my birthday. He told me happy birthday. I just it was in the notes. He did. I got different kind of friends. You know what I'm saying? Just real shit. To look up and cats remember it's my daughter's birthday. Little baby, you know, these niggas got shit to do. Nigga preparing for it too. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, I sent you a shout out for Devin. Send it to her. Lil Yachty, I said, I remember, man, when we went on tour five years ago, you flew back home on this day, I never forgot. I was like, damn, that nigga really a dad. You flew back home, nigga was back by with us the next morning. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I ain't, you know, shout out to my essays. I might miss the motherfucking pinatas and shit. We used to beat the fuck out of them shits in the hood on that candy. I, I do miss that. I do miss the pinatas. I came front. <laughs> but all the but all the rest of that shit, man, I don't miss that motherfucking shit. I don't miss none of that shit. I, I swear, bro, I promise you. I wish my big whack, well, if you can one thing about you, that motherfucker disappear. All my homies would be blessed with jobs to relocate, raise their families. Cause bro, I look at my homies in their eyes when I see them, and I see the pain, and I know their pain is there. Because you ought to remember, I ducked off of it 24 years ago, young. These niggas be 55 and 60, and still just trapped. Don't 